Welcome class to Mrs. Carroll and Mr. Sproul's third flip classroom activity. Today we're going to be learning how to do two-step equations. But first of all, if you look at this good-looking guy on the snowmobile, that's me, Mr. Sproul. And in my spare time, I like to go up north with my family, my wife Sherry, my oldest son Logan, which is a junior at the high school, and my youngest son Parker, which is a freshman at the high school. We like to go outside and tool around on the sleds and look at all the nature and beauty that uh, there is to uh, to enjoy out in the woods during the cold time. So we're going to do two step equations today. If you can pull out your equation sheet that we gave you in class earlier. Mrs. Carroll gave us some helpful hints for solving two step equations. I'd just like to review those. First of all, we got to do undo addition or subtraction first. Second, we should undo multiplication or division next. And then third, we need to solve for x. What do you do to one side you must do on the other? And then obviously we need to check our solutions to make sure that we've done the problem correctly. I'm going to go to the next page here. And the first problem that you have, problem 1a, is 5x plus 2 equals 8 plus 2x. I'm going to walk you through this one and then you are going to practice problem 2b on your own. We're going to try something a little bit different and I'm going to start with the pouches and the gold coins. As you can see on my page I drew five pouches and two gold coins and on the other side I have two pouches and eight gold coins just like my equation. If you could go ahead and draw five pouches and two gold coins on one side and two pouches and eight gold coins on the other, I would appreciate that. And then we can proceed. The first thing that we need to do is to see how many pouches we can undo on both sides. So I'm looking and I see two pouches on this side and we need to take two pouches here and we are going to undo them, remove them, minus them on this side. Now remember, what we do to one side, we have to do on the other. As you can see, Mr. Sproul is learning how to draw with these stylus. It's not as easy as it looks. So we're going to minus two pouches on both sides and these are going to cross out here Oops. and we're going to cross out these over here. Also we're going to have to look at what kind of coins, how many coins can I undo or remove. It looks like I'm going to have two here so I'm going to remove two coins here, subtract, and I'm going to remove two over here, subtract those, so I'm going to undo those here, and I'm going to undo those here, subtracting that. So what I'm left with is three pouches on this side, and I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six gold coins over here. And Mr. Sproul is going to erase that and make it just a little bit smaller. Let's give you a good time to catch up. We have three here, which will be 3x for three pouches, and I have six gold coins over here. So, what is the next step? Well, we have to get x by itself. We want to know how much for one pouch. And as you can see, the three is hugging the x. So that means multiplication. We have to do what the opposite of multiplication is and that is division. So I'm going to divide both by 3 here. That's going to cross these out. We're left with x on this side and 6 divided by 3 we know is 2. So x equals 2. Now I need to check my work just to make sure. And here to check our work we have 
to put it back into the equation. And then first, I really would like to do the equation. So let me write the whole equation, which is 5x plus 2 equals 8 plus 2x. Look at that. I squeezed it in there. All right. So, it looks like I'm going to have to take this 2x here and I'm going to have to subtract the 2x on this side. I'm going to have to subtract the 2x on this side. That's how I got my 3x. So these are going to cancel out over here. And this is going to cancel out over here. Oops, I'm sorry. That is going to be... Five x minus two x on that side, and I'm going to get three x plus two equals eight. Next thing I need to do is remove my gold coins, which we said we're going to subtract two here, subtract two here, and now I'm going to get three x equals six should look familiar just like we did over here on this side right here. Now I'm going to divide by 3 and I'm going to get x equals 2. So now I can check for my equation. And I'm going to need more space. So Mr. Sproul is going to use his magic eraser while you guys catch up here. great thing is you can rewind if you need to see that again and I'm gonna check my work over here now and I'm gonna put 2 in for X so I'm gonna have 5 multiplied by 2 plus 2 equals 8 plus 2 multiplied by 2 so we must remember PEMDAS here and PEMDAS is, working from left to right, we're going to do multiplication before addition. So 5 times 2 is 10. So I have 10. Bring down my plus 2 on this side. Over here I'm going to have my regular 8. Plus 2 times 2 is 4. And I get 10 plus 2 is 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. That works out. 12 plus 12 is a check. I had 12 coins on each side. That is problem number 1A. Now, you are going to do problem 2B. Looking ahead here for 2A, I wrote the problem out, and this time, no gold coins or pouches, just the problem. So we have negative 10 minus k equals 36. First thing I need to do is get rid of any addition or subtraction if possible. It looks like I have negative 10, and I'm going to have to do the opposite to remove that. I'm going to have to add 10 on this side. And remember what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I'm going to draw the line here. And negative 10 plus 10 will cross out. And I will have negative k equals 36 plus 10 is 46. Now, this is something new that we really haven't learned. So watch carefully. I can't have the variable k with a negative sign next to it. So I'm going to have to get rid of it. The negative sign is hugging K, which means multiplication. So I have to do the opposite, and I just have to multiply by a negative sign, which really would be negative 1. So that means I'm going to also divide the other side by 1. So to get rid of this, I multiply negative K by negative 1 and negative, or 46 by negative 1. This will remove the negatives and then I just have K which is 
46, which is going to be negative 46. So let's see if Mr. Sproul did that correct. I didn't because I forgot to have negative 36 up here. Okay, I wrote down the problem incorrectly. No, I did not. Okay, we will stop right there for this second and see what's going on here with this. Okay. Okay, we are back here. Just had to double check something. I was correct. I did write it down correctly. All right. And to check our work, we have to put negative 46 back in for K. So what I'm going to do here is take this and put negative 10 minus a negative 46 equals 36. So again, a new step here, which we may or may not know, is two negatives are going to make a positive. So a positive 46, a negative 10, and a positive 46 really is 36. So I'm going to have 36 equals 36. And my work checks out. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed my short lesson here. Thanks for being patient. Again, Mr. Sproul is learning some of these new steps. And hopefully, you guys are learning also. All right. You guys have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow.